Hi, my name is Peter Chen. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Netgear, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a Netgear wireless network. As you can see, we have our uh, Netgear ProSafe WC7520 wireless controller, as well as a couple of uh, Netgear access points. This one is the WNDAP350. This one is the WNDAP360. On the side over here is a uh, Netgear PoE switch, will be, which will be supplying the power to the access points. So step number one, obviously, would be to uh, connect uh, the access points uh, to the rest of the network, which I'm going to do right now. Now that we've got the access points connected to the rest of the network, I'm going to log into the WC7520 wireless controller and show you how to discover and associate these access points with the controller. Configuration to the wireless controller is done through an intuitive web UI. All you need to do is open up your browser, uh, point it to the IP address of the wireless controller, and log in. Now that we're logged in, uh, as you know, this is a new system, so uh, show as zero access points. To discover, I'll go to the access point tab. Uh, from here, there's a really uh, simple three-step wizard uh, to assist you uh, with uh, discovering your access points. So obviously, I just took these access points out of the box, so first option, and then I'll click Next. Uh, they're all on the same layer 2 network, so next again. And immediately you'll see the two access points, the 350 and the 360, uh, connected. And they're, they're all discovered uh, by the controller. What I'll do is select both of them and add them. Enter our password. add and in a matter of seconds these two access points uh, have now been associated and are now managed uh, by our wireless controller and that's how easy it is to set up your wireless access points with your wireless controller